Hello everyone, my name is Larseth, and welcome back to European Universalis 4, and episode 58 of our Poland Can Into Space campaign, in which we are obviously doing Poland Can Into Space, as well as Wing Tassars and One King to Rule, which we've already done. Those were the main sort of goals of the expansion, uh, the expansion, the campaign, and those uh, we finished in some cases a few hundred years ago in game. Um, we, at the moment, are just waiting for this war with France to finish. It shouldn't be too long before... Uh, the war goal is Navarra, so it shouldn't be too long before Spain pieces out France. And after that, we will basically go for a war with the uh, Ottomans. I think our truce is up in two years, um, if I am I recall. Uh, 42, yeah. So our truce is up in two years. And from that, what we're hoping to get is some of this land on Anatolia for um, Moldavia. And then we'll take some of this land over in the Balkans for us. At least I assume this is still technically the Bal Balkan area. Or is that mainly over here? Ugh, who knows? Um... So yeah, at the moment we're sort of just stuck waiting for Spain to be done. I mean, we could go and help, but I mean, there's already so many armies over there that everything's going down pretty fast anyway. Um, other than that, we're mainly focusing on our... Let's deactivate our forts. We're focusing on our ideas, getting our ideas finished. We are ooh, literally, I think, about this, this next tick of the month going to get a um, get another idea done yeah interest per annum minus one makes no difference to us so we got three left the main one I'm going for is this administrative tech cost reduction because I mean we're, we're five years ahead on all of our techs so what that'll mean is basically you know we are 100% guaranteed to get Poland can into space because uh, with that reduction, we'll still be able to, um, we'll be able to go ahead of time even further than we currently are, I guess, on the technologies. I don't know what our total discount is. Minus 22%, so it's basically minus 27%. That's way more. And that's way more. Wow, we got a huge reduction for military technology. Oh, well. Finally. Oh, wow. France accepted peace with their former enemies, Aachen. France will cede Rethel to Austria. <laughs> there. France will be forced to give Aachen 10% of their income. Oh, that's a steal for Aachen. That's a load of money. Uh, pay 406 ducats. See, that that piece going through will cause even more problems for them, because Spain are, demand, are going to demand a lot more of France. And the fact that, you know, Aachen probably took primarily, um, you know, as much money as they could suggests that, you know, if Spain do it, could make France have to pull out a load, a load of loans. There we go. So our fleet is done. We've just got... Ooh. Got two... Sh uh, what? How many ships have we got? Two more ships to do. And then we'll uh, join the fleets together. Uh, sure, that's fine for the moment. Let's join... Both of those together. Let's actually upgrade all of these ships while we're at it. See, now we can afford a lot of this, a lot of this technology, but we're not going to take it. I don't want to spend more than I need to for just no reason. 
We're already so far ahead. Let's move this camera over here. Um, yeah, do what's needed. Give them money. Throw money at the problem. That'll fix it. Um, so France, their manpower is 12,000, 42,000 troops. Basically, well, all of those are mercenaries. So I wonder what France's money is looking like. Let's... For, 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 for France. So, wow. So they're at minus three stability. That's going to really mess them up. Income, treasury. I want, where does it say how many loans they've got, I wonder? War exhaustion is 10. That's pretty, uh, really bad for them. Um, I wonder if there's a way of seeing... That's... Mm. That's for me, and that's for nobody else. Oops. No, maybe I won't. Income comparison? No. Oh, well. Either way, France are in a bit of pain. Right now. And they don't appear to be getting out of it anytime soon. Uh, have we improved relations with all of our allies. Moldavia, Austria, Spain, Netherlands, Golden Horde. Uh, so Moldavia are the only ones that we haven't probably topped up improved relations with. Yeah, we can increase it by another 50, which we might as well do. Um, let's build some more buildings, because we can. Uh, let's continue building up our manpower for no reason whatsoever. Because, of course, we need more manpower. Wow. A lot of these provinces up here are giving a load of manpower. So when that's done, our manpower should jump up probably by... Ugh, what am I going to guess? What's going to be the guess? Probably about, what, 20,000 at most, I would imagine. Probably more like 10. Ugh, so this war's dragging out, so we can't really declare war on the Ottomans until... Well, I mean, we could quite easily... Um, ooh, Cossack expansion. Borders often can be theoretical things, especially in the wild fields. It seems the Cossacks have expanded rapidly into an area previously wasn't under their control. We could attempt to reverse this development, but the Cossacks would likely not take kindly to being removed from land they have worked hard to settle. Um, sure, you can have it. I don't think they've got any other provinces. No. See, I get a call for peace. <laughs> that means, if I got a call for peace, that means everyone else should get a call for peace at the same time, which should result in a peace treaty very soon. Why is this taking so long? Right, I'm going to stack wipe this army. Just to help, you know. They wandered too far afield and they got chewed up. This is getting a bit silly now, waiting for them to... Uh peace out. But then if I peace out, my allies will be pissy. <laughs> you, you damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. It's a bit annoying. Um, right, let's join these guys together. So yeah, they're all set off. Hmm... For the Baltic Sea, I guess, for no apparent reason.
Oh, come on, people. Uh, I wonder, are there any more? Oh, of course there are. We can make some more cores on Ryazan. We probably want uh, Theodoro and Kaffa. So we'll go for those. And have the Golden Horde started coring anything else? Not yet, no. Any new missions? Conquer Eager. It's a bit late for that. Could have done that when we were at war, but I guess not anymore. Yeah, I think I really need to upgrade my graphics card. It's taking a taking a stuttering a little bit. Let's see, while uh, we're waiting for this war to uh, wrap up, we'll zoom all the way in so it doesn't have to uh, load too much stuff, um, just so it goes a bit smoother. Um, let's look at the Ottomans' army and see what the Ottomans are doing. Uh, M, M, M. Oh! Right, so the Ottomans... Uh, I've got 162... Okay. Okay, so our manpower increased by exactly 10,000. Oh, that's good. Um, so our... The Ottomans have got 160,000 manpower... What is... We could build another army. Which I think, in fact, we will. Um, where shall I get this one to... Uh, to muster in? Let's go for Warsaw. Their force... Uh, the Ottomans' force limit is just nuts. Like, their force limit is vastly above mine. Um... Let's fortify the march. Constantinople. Hmm. But I don't really want to pay for it. Like, they'll be getting plenty of money from Constantinople. So, no, I'm not going to. Uh... So we're Alaska free, California's free, in a personal union under Haiti, <laughs> uh, Alaska, let's have a look. They're still, they're allied with French Mexico, is a colony of France, and French, okay, so they're allies, but they're also good colonies, makes sense. Anyone else that's broken free, I wonder? Colombia. I think they broke free from Scotland, haven't they? Um, who else? No, just a little as anyone else. Mali are uh, going nuts. The thing is with the Ottomans is, you know, they they may be expanding elsewhere, but most of their valuable cores are around here. Hey, there we go. Finally. Seven favors with, uh, I think that was um, Spain. Um, right, so we're finally out of the war. Um, France will see, ooh, okay, they seeded a lot. France will see Labourde, Bern, Toulouse, Roussillon, Navarra, Prigno, uh, Girona, Grain Coast, Ivory Coast, Narbonne, and Urgell to Spain. We'll release Brittany and Hainault, uh, which is there. Uh, sovereign State. Poor, poor France. <laughs> you can only giggle, can't you? It's fun. Fun to watch France balls it up. Who 
Is there any more Diplo policies we can take? Well, there is, but nothing that I really care about. So we've just got way too much stuff at the moment. Hmm. Nope. Looks like we're going to have to um, increase the... Wow. Use our Diplo power to uh, improve a province. Marienburg. There you go. There you go, Marienburg. Costly trade embargo. Oh, so we can... Um, France isn't our ally anymore. Interesting. Our, our, not our ally, our um, rival. However, naughty Mr. Otto Blobs. Pretty sure our wars... Okay, no. When's our um, thing over? Uh, do, 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 do. Moldavia. Yeah, recall. Truce with the Ottomans has ended. So now we can wait till the end of next month. Three, two, one, tick. I think we want our best leaders to be on the very front line. So we shall do that. And we need another leader. And it was crap. What is our army tradition looking like? Because we seem to be getting some pretty bad leaders. I wonder if there... Is there a policy that we can get to uh, reduce the army tradition decay? No. Well, never mind then. So let's... Who will go to war with us? Everyone will. Glorious. So, what do we want? What's be what's a better um, CB? Imperialism or... No, it's imperialism's the better CB. So they are allied with Morocco and Delhi. Delhi are over here. They're not going to bother us. Probably. Well, worst case scenario, they'll send some troops over here, but they may not even bother. Um, how organized I'm gonna I think I might leave it a few months just for various oh I don't want to do that no I'm gonna take the unrest um, I think I'm gonna leave it a few months because I want what Spain's manpower looking like I want everyone to sort of regroup and what have you. Yeah, they got pretty pants manpower. What about Austria? Austria have got pretty rubbish manpower as well. I mean, I think we could probably beat Ottomans on our own pretty, pretty easily. Um, what am I looking for? Uh, so offensive quantity. They're two main ideas. Hmm. Uh, yep, yeah, sure, we'll take take that. Only two more. We're almost there. Cities demand old rights. Uh, burgers, burgers, burgers. Lo I don't really want to lose 20 legitimacy, if I'm honest. Um... I'll just go for that. And I'll have to pay for more stability when I get the money. Which will be in a few months. Annoyingly. Looming disaster. Ah, oh, bugger. <laughs> oh, I want to cry. I think, actually... It's worth changing government type. I forgot that once we go under 
one stability, we get this stupid, stupid thing. Which is really frustrating. So we have to get all the way up to three stability. Um, basically. Yeah, we have to get up to three stability to get rid of this uh, looming disaster. Doodah. But the problem is, is three stability is going to cost us, you know, a fair amount of um, well, it's going to cost us a lot. I mean, that's the inherent disadvantage with um, this type of government. Come on, one more tick. And we could go back to zero, at least. But yeah, like, that'll cost us... <coughs> probably... It'll basically cost us an idea to go back to three, three stability. Do we have a stability guy? Let's um, get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you, and get rid of you. Let's see who else you can muster up. Why are you down here? Very odd. Right. Who have we got now? Stability cost modifier. God, there's nobody else joining. Come on. No. Interesting. Right, Netherlands are having a crisis of some sort because they keep losing all of their rulers. I swear this every five minutes I'm having a... Uh, having a war with them. Having a raw marriage with them, sorry. So what are the benefits of the other government, government types? So, minus one national unrest, I'm not b bothered about it. The discipline is the basically the nicest thing about the absolutist monarchy. Um, national manpower modifier. Enlightened despotism. See, I like administrative monarchy quite a lot. Um... Hmm. Might go for... What's our current one? Okay. Choices, choices, choices. Ugh. I just don't want to spend that amount of... Uh, just a, of uh, admin power, to be honest. Ah, well, we'll see how it we'll see how it goes, I guess. Um, but yeah, we'll pick that up in the next episode. We'll probably go to war. Wow, we almost certainly will go to the war with the Ottomans, and we'll try and get rid of this disaster by uh, throwing admin points at it. So what that's probably going to entail is getting a stability cost modifier um, guy. Um, wow, we'll save a load of admin points, and then we'll get a stability cost modifier guy. And then buy it all at once, and then um, go back to a three uh, guy. Uh, so yeah, we'll do that next episode. I'll pause it here. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will speak to you next time. Take care.